Hi Scorpio, how's it going? Welcome to my channel, Universal Intuition. My name is Jacqueline. Today's video is gonna be your May um, 2019 general reading, again for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We'll also be doing the extended version of this reading where we look at your partner, your soulmate, whoever it is you're dealing with. Um, and that will be in the extended y'all's connection, how they feel about you, all that good stuff. So if you're interested, the link for that is in the description box below. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, I'm booking for June. My business email is um, also in the description box. So is my Instagram if you want to come say hello. Okay, if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. Thank you everyone for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. All right, Scorpio, so this portion is going to be just for you, what's going on with you for May 2019. This is a general reading. Just take what messages apply and leave the rest. Spirit, what messages do we have for the sign of Scorpio? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your May 2019 general read we've got two more whoa who's that Woo! king of cups flying out definitely could be representing um your energy scorpio water energy or you could be dealing with a pisces or a cancer There's a major thunderstorm happening outside. So the power just went out. So if it happens, I'm sorry. All right, let's get a current energy and see what's currently going on here, Scorpio. Um, you know, that King of Cups flew out. You know, whether that's you or another water sign you're dealing with. Um, I think that there's a good level of um, being in control. I'm hearing a mature emotional state. You know, being able to feel what you need to feel but also in such a mature and experienced type of way. All right, Scorpio, we have the Seven of Swords that fell out with the Star card in reverse. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, with a sneaky Aquarius, right? Um, I'm really more so feeling if it's not an Aquarius. Yeah, and we have the Chariot um, card of Cancer in reverse here. There is, there is someone in your energy that you have... I'm hearing like they got caught. They got, or you found out something about them or something like that with the Seven of Swords. It's very sneaky energy, okay? And when it's looking at the star card and the star card is in reverse, there's an imbalance, maybe a little bit of an injustice situation going on with someone um, with someone around you. Could be an Aquarius, could be a Cancer, it doesn't have to be, um, but you're not moving forward with the Cancer, or I'm sorry, with the Chariot card being here, you're not moving forward with this person or with the situation, or there was a situation that might have fallen through and it wasn't really um, meant for you for your best and highest good. Star card re represents our destiny, people who are meant to be in our lives for a positive influence, um, soulmate energy a little bit, um, or could also speak about um, a project or a career or something, an interest or, or, or a hobby even that you um, maybe thought was going to work out or yeah, this is what I should be doing. And then in fact, you found out some, there was something off. There was just something off about it. And I think you're going to put a stop to it or, you know, or that could be a person as well. All right, Scorpio, we have the queen of pentacles. She fell out in reverse could be dealing uh, with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I could absolutely, absolutely be someone that you could have been dealing with. Yeah, and we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Cups. All right, so this is, um, yeah. And we have Justice card, card of Libra at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so basically what I'm picking up is it's like you used your King of Cups, your, your highly advanced, intuitive, emotional senses to kind of check someone around you, you know. Um, it, it could be an earth sign, 
uh, we do have some air signs here on the table as well. But regardless of whoever this is, there's someone who was like kind of a snake in the grass. Like they were kind of talking you up a little bit or trying to persuade you to do something or to be with them or to work with them on a project. And you were just like, you know what? I don't think that I'm going to put my... I'm not going to invest my time in this person because I feel like something is kind of off, kind of sneaky. Like, are you trying to get away with something here? Um, and because of that, you're turning down an opportunity now, maybe towards the beginning of the month. Okay. But we also have the justice card at the bottom of the deck in the upright with the empress. So it's like something else bigger and better is going to happen because you're turning something down, turning someone down, turning down maybe a job offer, um, you know, maybe the money wasn't what you wanted it to be, but more so I feel like the vibe of like an icky person, you know, like someone who just wasn't, and not that they're bad, you know, I don't ever want to say anything like that, it's just that um, things weren't lining up, like they just weren't lining up, you used your intuitive um, senses, you know, your, your, very, very tapped in intuitively. You you rule with your feelings and your feelings and your emotions had been kind of telling you something like there's something off about this. I don't know. Like it seems it, I'm hearing like it was too good to be true, you know, and if it if it's too good to be true, then it probably is like it's probably, you know, there's there's a catch somewhere. It's like you it's like you um, it's like when something's really, really, really good and you're like, but what's the catch? And finally you found out what the catch was. So if it's about a person or situation, um, all of those little details of it is gonna be different for each and every one of you because this is general. But I ultimately see you, seeing you not move forward with this person, not moving forward in the situation, and in fact turning down an opportunity, but I think you know, um, I think you know that it's for your best and highest good that you turn this down um, with the star card in reverse. Um, and by you doing this, you are creating balance. It's like you see it, you felt it, you sensed it, and you were like, ah, no. And that, and therefore everything is balanced and you kind of, I'm hearing like with the Empress right behind that too, I feel like you're, it's like, well, that's okay because I can feel that something bigger and better is coming. So with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Page of Cups, okay? Again, fellow water sign. It could be you falling in love with someone else or falling in love with another career or having another brilliant idea. And it has to start from somewhere. It has to start from, you know, pages could represent things that are uh, new and kind of getting going on something, you know, a new relationship, that falling in love or the essence of falling in love with another way that this situation can turn out for you. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Scorpio. Yeah, we got the hangman in reverse, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, you're coming out of hangman mode. You were really stuck on this situation, um, on this person. Um, maybe you didn't know where to go, where to, you know, where do, I, where do I land with this person? I feel something's not right, but it all sounds good. Like, it, I think it was very confusing for you as well. Especially with the sevens, it can be a little confusing, a confusing energy right? So you were, you've been very, very stuck trying to seek enlightenment for what to do about the situation or what to do about this person. All right, let's keep going, Scorpio. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Three of swords in reverse. Okay, so if this is about a relationship, um, you're doing everything that you can Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You're actually the 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 energy that you're putting into the situation is removing yourself from this person because it's more important to love ourselves first, right? It's more important to fill our own cup. Yeah, there's someone sneaky in your energy. All right, then we have the Six of Cups. Beautiful nostalgic energy. Um, justice at the bottom of the deck again. Card of Libra. Some of y'all definitely could be dealing with a Libra.
there's another story I'm picking up here. I'm picking up something like more intuitive and this might just be for one person or a small group of people. Um, you could have also with the Six of Cups and the Page of Cups, Scorpio, because they're mirroring each other um, down here. You know, what I'm seeing is you could have fallen in love with someone recently or reconnected with someone from your childhood, from your past, um, someone you knew that you grew up with, or um, you've come to the realization that, hey, there's a love interest on the horizon. There's someone I'm interested in or someone I'm talking to or maybe I'm someone I've started to date. It's a kind of at the beginning stages here with the page. Very sweet energy, very sweet people. Um, and they could be someone that you've dealt with in the past, um, from a past life is what I mean. But with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, Queen of Pentacles, Star card in reverse, there, and with the Hangman as well, it could be, it could be something like we met at work um, or we met at the workplace um, or something like that and you want to make your relationship come together. And so therefore, I think because of y'all's position, one of the two of you either has to like step down, um, you know, maybe not be in an authority type of um, situation. Like maybe one of y'all was like the boss or a manager. And because you care about this person in relationship, one of the two of you um, like maybe had to transfer jobs or transfer locations or, you know, even take a step down at work because ace, aces are still great, even if they're in reverse, there's, it's still it's still great. It's just there's a delay or a stepping down. Like the money's still good, I mean, you still have your job, things are good, but now you're adding in a love connection, right? That's for someone, sorry, I went kind of deep on that one, but that's for, definitely for someone. And this person, this new person that's on the horizon or this new person that's coming in that, you know, we have a soulmate connection with is also helping us heal from past relationships, past heartbreaks, healing old wounds. And you might have been stuck in that energy as well for a while. You might have been stuck in a, in a painful situation for a while. I miss my ex or I, I, I miss that feeling or I miss the idea of that person or why did that happen? Why did I say that? Why did they say that? All this stuff kind of, we get stuck on it sometimes, right? But I think with this new person on the horizon, and I keep saying that because of the Page of Cups, they, they're kind of like bringing you out of your, out of your pain a little bit. They're kind of like a, a, a really nice distraction. Whether this is someone that's a friend, like a new friend interest, or if this is someone that, you know, something that turns into a relationship, it's new, it's fun, it's light, it's flirty. It's, you know, that free, um, childlike hood, uh, childhood like feeling, right? Beautiful. And all of this recognizing that, uh, there's something off. I need to change it or I feel it. And then, you know, that's for a lot of you as well. And then as we do that, boom, it attracts a soulmate connection. So kind of a couple different storylines going on here, Scorpio. Um, but overall, very good. Again, we have the Justice card, card of Libra at the bottom of the deck. And we have the beautiful Three of Pentacles underneath that as well. So this new person, a fellow water sign, could be um, a Libra. They are someone who's solid, trustworthy, it's almost like y'all were dealing with someone kind of sneaky, like a little snake. You recognized it, got them out. Might have taken a lot of your energy for a minute, but then towards the second half or the last part of the month, we come into much more of a soulmate connection with somebody. So it could be a friend, could be a new love interest. It could be also you reconnecting with um, the person you're already with, if you're already with your soulmate or your, your partner and a happy connection. It could also mean just Hey, remember when we first met? Hey, remember when we, you know, got married or, you know, and just kind of like reminiscing and, and kind of uh, basking in that beautiful, loving energy. So, 
All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you. We're going to go to the extended and look at whoever this other person is that you're dealing with, how they feel about you, um, any other messages coming up for them. So that is in the description box below. Uh, Scorpio, if this is where we part. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your support, um, for everything, for your sweet comments, your likes, your shares, subscribes, uh, donations, all that stuff. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Sending you all my love and I'll see y'all soon.